Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes, Exeek here again today to bring you the first episode in a long time of The Darkest Dungeon, now in its full release build. So, I've um, erased all my games except for the darkest fucking round, which I made just a second ago because my girlfriend needed to feed the pets. So, of course, I'm going to go with the traditional, the dankest of dungeons. So, how this usually works for me is that anybody who wants to be named has to leave their name in the description or has to leave a comment saying, I want to be in this game, and then I'll name you. It's as simple as that. Also, if you flatter me highly, I'm, more like, I'm not more likely to give you anything. Please do not leave flattery in the comments. Actually, I will only accept insults. Any flattery comments will be banned for my channel for good. Yeah, that's not true either. I'm just, I'm just messing around. So first things first, I'm going to completely snuff out my torch just in order to um, get better loot. I don't think there's much of a chance chance of me dying in um, in this little area. One second, I'm actually gonna turn the volume up a bit. Since I'm gonna be doing like as much story and as much dialogue as possible here. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, turn the narration volume down to, oh, what? Oh, it's already quite low, I see. I'm gonna turn the narration volume way up. Rats in a maze. And some of the music volume up a tiny bit there. Yeah, there we go. Rats in a maze. I like you, dude. I like your style. So when your torch is completely out, for those of you who do not know, it is increased stress, increased monster accuracy and damage, increased chance of players being surprised, but plus loot and plus player crits. So it's not all bad, as it were. And um, I'm, I'm essentially going to, I did this on this first mission. I don't think I'm gonna be doing a no torch run, at least not right away. And the reason I did this on this mission here is that I really want the extra loot before I start the game out in earnest, just in this little tutorial segment. Um, but don't worry, man, I will continue the onslaught. Like 800 gold is probably better than I would have normally gotten there. And let us hope that this is more treasure. Yeah, brigands left valuables. Leave nothing unchecked. Perfect. There is much to be found in forgotten places. So I didn't get an ideally large amount of money, and I probably should have healed up with this extra food I got. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Okay, so the fact that I um, managed this ambush was actually very, very unlikely. I'm going to go ahead and just use smite here in order to do the most damage possible. Um, as I have the first round just free. Maybe I should have used a stun. I don't know. I don't know the same things you guys don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. It's been a while. I haven't done much commentary on this recently, and I used to have a partner for commentary. Unfortunately, Dustpick has moved out, so his commentary is going to be a bit more rare. Hopefully I can invite him over here and there just to record like a full week's worth of episodes. What's the debuff that I got here? Minus four dodge. Who is in... Are you inflicting that minus dodge? I think he might be. Hmm. Either way, let's try to get this kill here. I think he is, yeah. I was about to say, I think he's gonna bleed to death whether or not I managed to kill him. And just one highwayman or brigadier fus brigand fusilier should be absolutely no problem. Oh my god. Man. That crit kind of hurt a lot. Not that it matters. So in my experience, this chest right here is always goddamn um, trapped. But I'm going to try anyways, just in case, you know. Well, you, you never know is what I was going to say. You know you never know. You never know. You never find out. You never know about these strangers like me. Okay, so um, I actually did get to sell my food for extra gold. I forgot that it was changed so that that would be a real thing. Thick-blooded and thin-blooded. Lovely. And the last gasp. That's not bad at all. It's not good, but those are those, that is not the worst case scenario that just occurred there. Welcome home, such as it is. So I pretty much always start by upgrading the stagecoach. They are yours now. So that I get more people arriving. Oh, what in hell's name? Oh, oh, I can like quick jump between the places, huh? Soldiers and outlaws. Okay, that's cool. Fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. I'm just opening up these places so I get the dialogue. In time, 
you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. So the reason I instantly upgrade the stagecoach by two is that so I can get a brand new party for my next adventure out. But first of all, let's start naming some of the guys that I have already here. Reynold will always be desk pick to me. Always, even though he's a god-fearing kleptomaniac, which is very much not true in real life, or is it? I don't know. Dismiss will always be me, because I kind of like this class a lot. Or Jay. But for now, um, for now me or Inflictor, as he is known online, kind of. He's, yeah, yeah, as he's known online. I, I, I said kind of there, because I was like, well, he doesn't really have a channel or anything. Um, these two are both women, so what I can do is I can do Sylriva and Ren. Perfect. The Dream Team returns. Not really ideal um, items there. I like the fact that I have Emboldening Vapor. I like that I have Blinding Gas, and I like that I have Plague Gren Gren Grenade and Noxious Blast. Actually, they've really upped the Blight damage on this one, which... Is goddamn awesome. If there's anything I love in this game, it is stacking up. Shut up. Please shut up. Ooh. Okay, apparently I can just instantly go to the darkest dungeon if I want and die a thousand deaths. 100% less stress damage from skill revel revelation. 100% protect from skill revelation. Huh. Interesting. Um, I'm definitely not going to do it, but interesting indeed. Okay. So let's go in my usual order here. The usual suspects indeed. And what do I need? I think I'm actually not... The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. Hmm. So I just get these automatically? Okay, so now you get specific things for bringing certain classes, which is nice. I don't think I'm going to actually grab torches. I am going to grab one full stack of food, one shovel, um, some medicinal herbs, and a key. Uh, you sell them back, but I'm sure you can't sell them back for the full price, so I don't want to overdo it. Your first expedition into the ruins of your ancestry. Be curious. Be careful. By curious, be careful. Because um, if you tend to have a lot of unprotected sex, which, statistically speaking, you're slightly more likely to do if you're fucking both men and women, um, you have to be a bit more careful about sexually transmitted diseases. But not that everybody shouldn't be sexually a bit more careful. And I think that's all true. If it's not true, please tell me and don't just get mad. I have heard. I'm not judging. So, okay, stop digging yourself into a hole, Yesik. Stop it. Stop talking about bisexuals. Or bicurious. Is that is there a difference between bisexual and bicurious? I don't actually know. To me, I've always just it's always just equaled the same thing. Um, so I don't actually want my torch. Can I snuff out my torch right now? No. Okay. I don't really want my torch. He, he's dead. He is not dead. Let's do this. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. Well, there's really no point in um in doing any more here. I can't heal though, so I, I guess I might as well get the kill. Try for a crit. Try for some stress recovery. Open the chest. It is an unlocked strong box, which means I do not have to use a key. Lovely. I get an extra shovel and a bunch of treasure there, actually. And I'm even. I'm not gonna snuff out the torch, but I'm not gonna use any more torches. And I get scouting. All right. What is my actual objective here? Explore 90% of rooms. Easy enough. Even the I'm glad I got the second shovel because um, I'll, I might need it. I might very well need it. Oh no, my torch is low. Plus loot. I'm of course going to go for like the all-around hit here. And um, play grenade only hits the back, so I'm just going to try to absolutely de decimate one of these guys here. One damage and four. I think that is indeed a kill. No. Okay, he resisted the movement. Don't bump me in the day or the night. 
Unless unless we've like had dinner first. You gotta be polite, man. You gotta be polite. Just like you gotta be KD. Can't kill, can kill. Missed. Hmm. Unideal. Okay, so apparently that wasn't enough to actually kill him. Remember, if I actually let him die by Blight, it destroys the body automatically. So I think what I'm going to do here is actually grab the kill on this second guy. On this guy. Um, I'm going to try to blind and stun this girl up here. She didn't dodge, but she did resist, unfortunately. Oh my god, Ren, what are you doing to me? If I remember in my last game, you were like the champion, my friend. And you'll keep on fighting till the end. Slash with a knife now. Okay, you're bleeding out, so let's try to get a heal together before I actually, um, before this match automatically ends. Which means I just have to hope that Ren goes first. I don't actually want to kill you. I don't want to kill you. How much damage can it do? Two to three. Here, just swap places. Um, Embolden. I just want to heal with Ren. Ah, god damn it. Cuts on its own. Okay, let's move those those two back to where they belong. Back to where they once belonged. Fortunately, they seem to have figured out the bug that I had last time where, oh my god. <coughs> Sorry, I just muted Raid in time for a really awkward sneeze there. And when I say awkward, I know what I'm talking about. I've always been an awkward person. I understand it more than most. Watch out for traps. I probably won't spot them since I haven't scouted and I don't think they're just hanging out on the ground. Get myself an extra key and an extra holy water. There isn't much for me to use these things on right now. Which I don't like much. Oh no! I have been surprised! Okay, so definitely Noxious Blast right up front here. And um, I guess just try to get this kill up front. Uh, Despic's gonna have to move up on his own merit. Slowly. There we go. Ren, you will just, of course, you don't even need to heal. You're full health still. I guess just use a dazzling light and hope for the why will nobody die. Okay, at least he's stunned. That does mean he is most definitely dead. Oh, don't slash me like the graveyard. I need to get some mobility abilities up in this shit. Because so far, I am not enjoying um, just kind of getting decimated every round. No, he resisted. He's a skeleton. How could he resist Acid Blight? Man, Despic, you're not doing so hot. Might want to like heal up or something, or maybe just kill this guy up here. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Hmm. Dazzling light. What I actually wanted to do was judgment before. But what Ren really should have done was heal fucking Despic there. Death by inches. I think now he can only use the bayonet jab, which is nowhere near as bad as um the bolt is that he can do. I need like tons of heals. I'm actually gonna probably feed Despic some straight up food after this. Yeah, two on a crit. This guy is most definitely dead. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforeseen. So I think no matter what, this heals you or gives you a buff, but it heals your mental state if you use holy water. I always forget. Let's just try this. Reinvigorates the hero, five health. That is actually better than recovering stress in this situation. Let's move on. As I like to say, let's keep on keeping on. I'm taking my time, I'm just keeping on. Or creeping on? It's a trap! Why didn't I bring Admiral Akbar on this mission with me? I should name him a scout or a... Or a grave robber, Admiral Akbar. Because that'd be kind of fun. Treasure room? Hells yeah, I don't care if there's a battle in there. Okay, so what's this? Trap disarm, 90%. Lovely, so that's a lot easier to see now, as you can see. So, easy disarm there, and some stress relief for my troubles. And is this completely out? Yes, it is. All right. 
bring it. Okay, so first things first, let's get rid of this guy. Getting rid of damage on the field is always the best option. Can't help but notice I um, completely forgot to rearrange my party, which, uh, you know, maybe not ideal. Oh, that seven damage, though. It's so good. Just stop hitting Despic, he's really hurting right now. Oh, man. That stress, huh? So I almost feel like I should just hit this guy to make sure he dies next turn. Prevent him from taking any damage in the future. And then hit this guy for the same reason. The bleed will now kill him. And if he bleeds to death, his body will instantly disappear. So I'm going to do a targeted shot up here. Because she's going to be in the front soon, and now I have extra aim. Let's um go for a stun right here. Make sure nobody can attack me in the next turn or so. And see if I can get a heal off. Give them no quarter. Oh, don't worry. They will have none of my quarters. I need those to play video games at Tubby Dog. Uh, by the way, that is only partially a joke. We do have a restaurant called Tubby Dog in Calgary. Serves all right massively loaded hot dogs, but has um, arcade machines that still cost quarters, which is kind of badass. Whoa, Desbic, that was quite the damage you did there. Foolish horrors, brought low and driven into the mud. Oh, that sucks. Did you see how much that treasure sucked? That was hardly worth it at all. I wanna go. Can you show me? I'm gonna eat some food with Despic. Oh God, why that song? I hate that song. I hate um that composer. I forget what his name is. Just not my favorite. And believe me, I know you can still like the composer. I'm not gonna, not gonna fault you for it, but just not my thing. Not my jam. Can you eat more? No. I don't think I need an anti-venom, but I most definitely need these thousand gold rubies. Because thousand gold rubies basically make my life. Yeah, I, of course I'll eat enough food. I have shit tons of food. You guys won't stop giving me food. So I completed the quest. I'm going to continue adventuring and see what is in the last room. I think I have more than enough. It's another treasure room. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, and I'm going to eat as much as I can before I enter there, just in case it happens to be an actual hard fight. So, you're full. I'm not sure when people can eat again, but it's definitely worth doing. Uh, you haven't taken any damage. You haven't taken any damage. I probably won't need a lot of these things, but we will see. We will see. Okay, so I have a full party this time. I um, can't help but notice again that I have not properly fucking changed my guys around. But um, stacking up some blight on the back should make it very, very easy to take these guys out. And then I'm pretty sure these guys can easily take out the front. If if this battle happened a couple rooms ago, I would have been in. I would have been less fond of it. Okay, I think you have to move back. And you have to keep healing because Despic could very well die here. Yeah, he, he's um, on death's door. Which is not fun at all. It means he could die at any moment. Death's door still. Oh, God. Really should not have switched their positions. No, stop attacking him. God damn it. Okay, Coral going to Ren. Sorry, Ren, but that is probably the best case scenario there. Um, let's try. To, let's have. Let's get him dead, because that shot there is guaranteeing his death next turn. And then I can start attacking some of these guys in the front, take away any damage they could possibly do. Again, best case scenarios going on here. You get the fuck off of Death's Door, even though um the stress of being put back on Death's Door could probably make you insane. Why you gotta go and make things so fucking difficult? Okay, both of these guys are dead. So no issues there. 
Let's go for another heal really quick. I realize Ren could be doing damage, but I definitely do not want to lose a character on my first ever mission. So he has three health left. So let's kill him. There we go. Now we only have one enemy remaining, officially speaking. And we can just use Smite. Smite does extra damage versus the undead. We should be all kinds of good. All kinds of good, like at least four or five different types of good, really. That's what I'm thinking at the moment. Resist. Ah. Uh, fine, I'll cut it with a small... Can you imagine trying to kill a skeleton with a small knife? In my head, that doesn't work. So I need a tiny bit of extra room for treasure. Um, 125. I wonder if this sells for more than 125. I don't know. Heirloom chest, open it up. Whoa, no, I meant, god damn it, to use a key. Fuck balls. Oh, well, I got a disease charm, which I um, think kind of sucks, but I did get 3,000 gold, four crests, and a bunch of collected treasure and heirlooms, so... Overall, I'd say successful mission. Minus 20 stress if torch is above 75, and plus 20 stress in the cove. Come on, something good. Quick reflexes, plus two speed. Ren, you are glorious. Glorious. Curiosity. Yeah, I know how to remove negative perks. Mile markers on my road to damnation. Oh, the red marker means they they can't they can't be used for another week. So, okay, I see. So you can't use the party members twice in a row. You're God-fearing, you will only transept. And because he will only transept, I'm going to upgrade transept. So I'm going to put him in there for less money. Um, Sariva desperately needs to, to get healed up. Uh, what would Sariva enjoy? I'm assuming you'd probably be a bar type person. You know, hang out, play some darts. Maybe some pool. Thousand in the bar. And Ren, you can go to the brothel. Um, I, I'm not judging your personality there. I just wanted to send you to the brothel, I guess. Stagecoach time! Who do I got? I got Tabraham. Vauville. Bounty Hunter and another Crusader. A mighty sword arm anchored by holy okay, purpose. interesting. I don't actually like the Jester class. His preferred position is second to back. I can put you in the very back and then like this. Hmm. We need to learn some new skills. Did I open this up yet? No. Well, he's functional in the very back. Could just do pistol shot over and over again. Not to mention he kind of works with um, Pennant here, who I'm, who can't mark targets. Oh, wow, that sucks a lot. Okay. So I have no way of marking targets. Can you mark targets? Hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know about this team that's coming up. But anyways, this is where the episode is going to end. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And remember, if you want to be named in this, leave a comment, and I will be sure to add you to a big list of people who want their names involved. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.